The Little Hummingbird by Michael Nicol Yagulanas. Here is the story of the great forest that caught on fire. The terrible fire raged and burned. All the animals were afraid and fled from their homes. The elephant and the tiger ran. The beaver scurried and the frog leapt away. Above them, the birds flew in a panic. The creatures huddled at the edge of the forest and watched, all except for one. Little Hummingbird did not abandon the forest. She flew as fast as she could to the stream. She picked up a single drop of water in her beak. Little Hummingbird flew back and let the water fall onto the ferocious fire. She dashed to the stream and brought another drop, and she continued back and forth, back and forth. The other animals watched Little Hummingbird, and they were frightened. What can I do? sobbed Rabbit. This fire is hot, and I am scared. This fire is so big, howled Wolf, and I am so small. I can't do anything about this fire, croaked Frog. My wings will burn, cried Owl. <laughs> Little Hummingbird continued her work. She flew quickly, picking up more water and putting it drop by drop onto the burning forest. Finally, Big Bear said, Little Hummingbird, what are you doing? Little Hummingbird looked at the other animals. She said, I am doing what I can. And then I'm going to read a message from Wangari Math Mathai. And it says, nearly 30 years ago, I planted seven trees in Kenya, Africa. Since then, I've worked with thousands of others who have planted more than 30 million trees. We have shared our important work with people in other countries in Africa and around the world. One of the greatest lessons I have learned is that all people, young or old, big or small, girl or boy, have power. We can achieve the life we want for ourselves and our families when we pay attention to protecting our environment. We must not wait for others to do it. Many years ago, I learned that practice of not wasting resources, but instead using them with respect and gratitude. I also practiced the four R's, Reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. We can practice the four R's wherever we live, whether we are rich or poor, or live in the country or city. For me, this means continuing to plant trees, particularly now that the long rains have come to Kenya. I also call on my colleagues to ensure that we print on both sides of each sheet of paper so that we can reduce the amount we consume. And I urge everyone to avoid plastic bags that are used once then thrown away. These are just a few examples. You can do many other small things that will make a difference in your home, your neighborhood, and your country. We sometimes underestimate what we can accomplish, but there's always something we can do. Like the little hummingbird, we must not become overwhelmed and we must not rest. Today and every day, dedicate yourself to appreciating nature and to protecting your home and the world's resources. We can all be like the little hummingbird, doing the best that we can. So today in our reading lesson, you are in our writing, you're going to be writing about the beginning, the middle, and the end. So I want you, in the beginning, I want you thinking about who are the characters, what is the setting. In the middle, I want you thinking about what is the problem that was happening, and in the end, I want you to be thinking about how was that problem solved and how was it resolved. All right, guys, let me know if you need any help today. Have a great day.